All right, the long-awaited part 10. My apologies to you all for taking such a long time with this, but here we are. Before I get into further modeling with our character head, there's something very important I'd like to discuss briefly. It is called topology. Some of you might be familiar with it, and some might have heard about it, but uh, I'd like to say a few words here. Topology refers to the way your 3D mesh defines the object, or how the 3D mesh is laid out, or how the edges flow on your model. Edge loops, another term you would hear in the 3D modeling world, is basically the flow of consecutive edges, and in our case, the loops around the major features, such as the mouth and the eyes. Now, these are very important to understand if you want to animate the character. Even if you don't plan to animate, you should study these topics to be a good modeler. And you can do research um, online. There are tons and tons of tutorial and lots of reading material available. Um, typically, good edge loops flow around the eyes and mouth in a deformed circular or elliptical manner. And let's actually take a look at some examples here. Let me bring up another screen here. Now, this is from the famous Joanne of Arc uh, tutorial that's been around on the web. And as you can see, the edge loops here are kind of going in a circular manner around the lips and around the eyes, you know. And let me show you this example. This is the model we are trying to build by a second reality website. And as you can see, the edges are flowing in an elliptical manner around the mouth area, kind of starting from the nose and going around here like this. And also we got tons of loops here around the eyes, some loops here for the wrinkles if you need them and, and the head, things like that. And my suggestion for you is to do a good research on these topics, you know, and basically try to find meshes by other artists how they have laid out their edge loops, etc. You can also study the facial muscles, expressions to understand how a face deforms, what shapes it takes, and things like that. Um, I think enough lecture, and now maybe we should jump back to our model. And where we left was something like this. My actually computer died and I lost a lot of files and that was the main reason why I couldn't update or, you know, record part 10, but luckily this weekend when I was cleaning up my <clears throat> old closet, I, I found my old backup CDs and there was actually one version of this file saved, so which I have open now and um, I'm going to use it to uh, move further in this, in this tutorial. Um, so we need to add the lips and before we do that, actually let's go ahead and fix certain edge loops here which we inserted a long time ago and to do that we simply need to jump to the vertex mode and I'm gonna turn on my constraint to edges grab these vertices and start moving them around something like this okay these guys can go back a little bit like that go back there this can come down, let's grab this guy, bring it down like this, and something like that. So as you can see, all I'm doing is basically grabbing these vertices and, and changing the shape of this edge loop and kind of trying to make it go in an elliptical fashion around the mouth. And this is where we're gonna add the lip. So let's go ahead and actually uh, insert some uh, new edges to start creating the shape of the lips. Uh, to do that, what I'm going to do is uh, jump to the edge mode and insert vertex, turn on my snap, and I already have it set up to midpoints, so I'm going to add one vertex here, right click to finish, back to the uh, vertex mode, turn off the snap, this new vertex is already selected. I'm going to grab this guy and connect them. All right, back to my edge mode. 
I'm going to select these two vertices, sorry, edges, connect them, and then go back to the insert vertex, turn on the snap, and add one vertex here on this new edge. Jump to the vertex mode, connect these two vertices, and connect these two vertices. Something like that. Okay, and then all we need to do is start moving these vertices around, kind of giving it a very basic shape of the lips. Something like that. Let's leave it at this point and jump to our polygon mode. Select these polys, delete them, back to the edge mode, select these four edges. First of all, get out of the edge constraint mode if you are using it. And if you remember, we were using the short key D. I'm going to just hit that once. Select the scale tool and hold down the shift key and uniformly scale it down like that. And then move these guys somewhere in the middle until they cross our symmetry line. And then we can grab these vertices and start moving them around, something like this. So at this point, I'm going to open another file and show you what we are trying to get, something like this. So what I did here is I fixed the loop, edge loop here. It's kind of going around like this in this shape. And I also added the lips, the starting of the lips, you can say, with some extra details, adding more edges here at the bottom part, going all the way around to the neck, and just trying to give it a shape like that. So I'm going to stop this part 10 at this point, and in the next lesson, uh, just talk briefly about adding more edge loops, adding more details, and um, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.